you guys it is Madison and today I'm rushing to get this video filmed because it's about to be dark it's also about to rain and thunder and all that gunky stuff so I wanted to make the video because I just did this video is going to be my top 10 beauty tips this is also a collaboration with my best friend Savannah you guys know her I'll link her channel and her videos down below she already posts her video but I post on Thursday so also, a lot of you guys were actually asking me my thoughts on the Ronda Rousey fight last Saturday. I will get to that in a future video, I promise you. Okay, so anyway, on to our first beauty tip. Um, the first beauty tip that I have for you is the only one that really matters in my mind. If you take anything in this video, let it be this tip. This first tip is be you. If you don't want to wear any makeup, don't wear any makeup. If you don't want to, if you want to go to the gym and you want to wear lashes and bright red lipstick and extensions or whatever you do that because let's be real no one on this earth is perfect and we can't be perfect all the time or ever let's be real let's be really real do what makes you happy that is my first tip in life and in beauty that's kind of tip i wanted to tell you guys was it's just makeup um it washes off at the end of the day so if you mess up don't freak out it's not a big deal it washes off so I know a lot of people um when they mess up on their eyes or whatever mess up on their eyeliner that's a big one um they kind of freak out and they just they're just done like I said it is just makeup it's not a big deal don't stress over it except I have is primer I used to not wear primer at all and I think it's because I didn't used to really care about my makeup staying on my face because I don't really care about makeup but this year especially, I have gotten into makeup, obviously. Um, and I do want it to stay on my face, clearly. Um, so these are my two favorite primers. You guys probably already know this. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And then this primer, I use after that primer. Primer, primer, primer. Um, this is the Makeup Forever Steps 1 Skin Equalizer. This is in smoothing. And this just smooths out your face and makes foundation go on so much easier and just glide on your face. I'm gonna lie to you guys, both of these primers are actually pretty pricey, so my next mission is to find a drugstore primer because I don't think I've, I don't think I have a drugstore primer that I actually like. So the next tip is actually a very important tip, and the next tip is if your skin doesn't look good, your makeup is not gonna look good. I don't know why I cannot talk today, probably because I'm trying to rush. Um, but if your skin doesn't look good, your makeup is not gonna look any better. I would just say take care of your skin very much because the only skin you got one exfoliate this is a brand new bottle of my favorite exfoliant um this is not an everyday exfoliant i use the philosophy scrub every single day for my everyday exfoliant but this one is more of a harsh exfoliant so if you have this hair is messing me up so i'll say if you have um sensitive skin i would not actually pick this up but this is a drugstore product these next two are pretty pricey so this is a drugstore product this is just the garnier plus clean scrub it's for oily skin so if you do not have sensitive skin i would very much recommend that if you do like i said i wouldn't really recommend it because it is kind of harsh granules that are going on your skin um and then the next two things you do not need both these let me just tell you this is a serum and then this is a moisturizer this video is not sponsored by philosophy <sighs> and i also use the philosophy cleanser i don't know what it's called right now but that is the best cleanser I've ever used in my entire life. But if you're, if you don't want to go splurge on that, any cleanser will work. A cleanser is not going to stay on your skin, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, if you have dry skin, I just wouldn't use like a foaming cleanser because that's going to dry out your skin even more. And then if you have oily skin, I would say use more of a gel type cleanser. I just really wouldn't re recommend like foamy cleansers in general. But anyways, um, so... Any cleanser will work because that is not going to stay on your skin. So that is not going to affect your skin as much. You just need a facial cleanser that is going to get all your makeup off and cleanse your skin. But after that, you need to moisturize. Like I said, you don't even need both of these. This one is just a serum, like I said. And it is When Hope Is Not Enough by Philosophy, like I said. There's no other description on it. It's just a serum. It just looks like this. It comes with a little dropper. So whenever I wash my face, I... Get a makeup wipe or I use the simple um, micellar water and I put it just like on a washcloth or whatever. Um, most of the time I use a makeup wipe because that's just easier. Take all my makeup off and then go wash my face with the Philosophy Cleanser. 
and I'll exfoliate my face with the philosophy exfoliant and then I will use this serum and then I'll go in with my moisturizer which is the renewed hope in a jar by philosophy again um they used to have a moisturizer that was kind of like this but it was called hope in a jar and it was like a gel texture I did not like that one at all but this one is more of a creamy texture some of you guys were actually asking for a skincare routine and to be honest no <laughs> my skin is just not ready for that yet um maybe in the future but like I said a lot of these kind of tips are going to be for skincare anyway so hopefully that will help you guys out the next tip is just y'all are going to hate me for this just eating well is going to help your skin it's going to help everything it's going to help you feel better um, I know a lot of you are calling me a hypocrite because I don't really eat healthy, but I'm trying to eat cleaner. I'm not going to say healthier. But I'm trying to eat cleaner. Not as much fast food, not as much this, not as much this, but I am trying. Um, I don't really like to eat healthy, to be honest, but it does help. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and act brand new like I'm just, I'm just perfect and I don't need to eat healthy. I really do need to start eating healthy, but... I like my food. So the next tip I was actually kind of debating on whether I should put this tip in the video or or just kind of leave it out. Um, but this does have to do with your skin. This does have to do with the beauty part of life. So I would just, I'm just going to put it in there. First of all, I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dermatologist. I don't do none of that. But I do know this helps. So this is the GNC hair skin and nails formula. I literally got this at the mall. Nothing too crazy. But um, it just looks like this. And there's no drug in this. It's straight vitamin and biotin. And that's just going to help your nails be stronger. Your hair be stronger. Your hair get longer. It helps your skin. Um, the only thing I absolutely hate about this is the smell of this. If I smell it before I take it, I'm not taking it. I refuse, but I do take this two times a day unless I smell it that I'm not taking it. I refuse. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend this. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not an esthetician, but this has no drugs in it. Just want you to know. Um, straight biotin and straight vitamins. The next tip is going to be for if you're going to a wedding or you're going to have pictures taken or that kind of thing, I would just say know what you like before you go to that event, before. You kind of do anything with pictures or anything that you know you need to rely on your makeup. If you're one of those people that don't wear a lot of makeup, you need to wear the makeup that you're going to wear a couple weeks in advance just to see if your skin is going to have a reaction to it. If you like, if you like the foundation, if you like the things that you're going to be wearing, because if you put on something you don't like, I guarantee you, you're going to feel it on your face. You're going to hate it. You're going to hate it the whole entire day, and you're not going to be happy with the pictures trust me even if you do wear a lot of makeup all the time if you're going to be kind of using someone else's foundation someone else's makeup make sure you try that a couple weeks in advance just to make sure it works with your skin with your skin tone with your skin type i'm speeding through this a little bit but it is getting dark so the next tip is just to y'all are gonna think i'm so dumb but i tell cases all the time and this is just give yourself me time it's gonna release distress and Kind of make you happier. I know that sounds so cheesy, but it is really true. The second Ronda Rousey lost that fight, I came in my room, put my phone down. I turned the TV off. Let me just tell you, I turned that TV straight off, and I put a face mask on, and I was like, <sighs> anywho, I'm not going to get into that, like I said, but any kind of me time, I, I was going to say once a week, but I don't really give myself once a week. Um, At least twice a month so at least once every two weeks I would say go to your bathroom give yourself a bubble bath be girly be cute do your nails be cute I mean or don't be cute put a freaking green face mask on you don't have to be cute this is your time honey a lot of people say that me time doesn't really do anything for them and that's because they don't put the phone down they don't turn the TV off they don't put the laptop down and really relax I would just say at least once a month that's like the minimum at least to give yourself some me time I know it sounds so cheesy but it will help in the long run I promise this next tip is for you guys who wear cream foundation or liquid foundation anything but powder foundation okay so if you are one of those people who don't really have a lot of foundations or 
you just don't want to use a different foundation let's be real sometimes we're lazy um definitely use a brush for more coverage and use a beauty blender for a natural more more natural coverage that didn't make any sense just because when you wet your beauty blender first of all it expands it gets bigger than this this is dirty i'm sorry um when you wet your beauty blender it's going to share out that foundation so if you have a full coverage foundation when you use a beauty blender it's probably going to go into a medium coverage foundation which of course with most foundations you can kind of build them up to whatever coverage you want but if you have full coverage foundation and you want a full coverage look I would definitely say use a dense brush not not a very fluffy brush um this is just the it cosmetics flat kabuki brush I have literally like 10 of these um I don't really know where they came from they just showed up in my makeup a long time ago but I really like this brush to put on foundation and like I said this is just going to give you going to going to this is going to give you more of a skin finish skin like foundation coverage did that make sense probably not Also, if you don't use liquid foundation or cream foundation if you use powder foundation um, to get more of a full coverage, you would definitely still use this dense um, kabuki brush. But for a lighter coverage foundation with powder, you could use a Dua Fiber um, foundation brush or anything like that. You cannot really use a beauty blender, but... So the final tip I have for you guys is a setting spray. I don't have to talk to this. I'm so sorry. Um, just a setting spray. It doesn't matter really what setting spray. This is just the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This... I used to be, I used to like not even care about setting spray because they didn't make a difference to me. This one is not my favorite setting spray. I actually don't really like the setting spray, but you know, it does what it says it should do. Um, yeah, so this, the only reason I don't really like this is because it costs an arm and a leg and it doesn't really do that much. So a setting spray is supposed to make your makeup last a long, not a long time, but a longer period of time. And it is also, if you put powder on your face, I put powder on my face because, like I said, I usually have oily skin, which has changed, whatever. So when you use a setting spray with a powder or something like that, it's just going to make the powder sit better on the skin. It's going to make it look like you're not wearing powder, but it's still going to give you that matte look if you get the right setting spray. Obviously, if you get a dewy finish setting spray, it's not going to make you look matte. Um, the MAC Fix Plus is going to make you look very dewy. The um, Urban Decay Cool, what is that called? Chill Makeup Setting Spray. It's going to make you look dewy. And then this and then the D Slick Makeup Setting Spray from Urban Decay is going to make you look more of a matte finish. But it's still going to kind of melt that powder into your skin to make it look more like skin. The store actually has a makeup setting spray that I actually really, really like. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray. That's what I used to use before I got that. It was actually pretty great. And I probably like it more than that. Because that costs like 15 bucks. And this costs like 45 Which is... The L'Oreal Infallible is better for my wallet. Let's be real. Anyway, so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to go on over to Savannah's channel. And check out her video. She did her top 10 beauty products. Also, I'm going to link another video down below which is Casey's video she um did makeup products for beginners which actually inspired me to do this video um so yeah I will link both those links down below also I was just gonna link their channels because that'll be easier you guys know them and love them anyways they've both been on my vlog so leave us a comments down below on what you want to see after Thanksgiving like I said my next video will be a Thanksgiving video I'm not sure if it's gonna be the one I actually planned because there's only like a week till Thanksgiving anyways, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all that. But I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to save that idea and do it more for Christmas, just because I have more time to do it for Christmas, you know. But regardless of what the video is, there will be a Thanksgiving video up next Thursday. I'm going to try to kind of um, set it live in the morning, just because I feel like a lot of people kind of go out on Thanksgiving, go out with their family. So you can watch in the morning while you're getting ready, you know. So yeah, once again, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up and all my social media links will be down below. I cannot speak today, but I got this video done before it got dark. I'm very proud of myself. I love you guys. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.